You follow a good idea. This electric adventure vehicle. It required new ideas. An electric vehicle that can be capable of traveling through harsher terrain, harsher environments. It involved iterating on all aspects to allow them to perform in the best way. So how do you actually package all these little cells together in the densest way possible so that it doesn't take up the whole cabin of the vehicle? We found really amazing ways to stack these cells up, connect them all together, and cool them as well. You need to reject quite a bit of heat if you're really going to be pushing your vehicle hard. Everything that's in-house is in-house because it enabled the company to open up possibilities. You and I have very different usage patterns. The way you drive is different from me. The way you charge, most importantly, is very different from me. So we've inserted into our battery system the ability to learn and enhance the life of the pack through real-time, in-situ adjustments to a variety of control parameters. It's really complex. So, you know, what we say is we have smart batteries, <laughs> which is like a massive oversimplification. The battery management system, it's gonna really cool those hot cells in that strenuous environment, and it's gonna warm those cells up in a parked environment. So that we can extend the life and the performance of the battery. And then make the car better and better over time. If you think about any adventure, you're essentially pushing whatever you're taking with you to the limits different temperatures, different kind of shock and vibration. And what that means on our end is that when we take a little cell, we need to test it for every possible profile that you might put it through. It can be used towing a boat in the middle of summer. The same customer during the winter may also go skiing in the negatives. My team's job is to satisfy all the use cases that this vehicle can potentially see. They want to know that the battery is going to last them years and years and it's gonna maintain that same power that they expect from a Rivian vehicle. We have world-class test and development facilities. And as a result, we can push the cell and the battery a lot farther and a lot harder. So if we really understand our cell, then when we give it to you and we put it in this pack, we absolutely know that for the worst case scenario that we tested, you'll never really get there. Building cars that can drive on electricity is really a stepping stone. What's important with electric energy, it enables us to gather that from the sun or from the wind or from the waves. One of the things that blocks us shifting there is battery storage for storing electrons when the sun's not shining and the wind's not blowing. And that's something we focus a lot of energy on. We're really excited about the ability to take batteries, put them initially into a vehicle, but then plan for and design for those batteries at their end of vehicle life to connect them to a second life in various types of grid storage. To do that, you have to design the battery from the very beginning, such that the transition from a car to the grid is really easy. We are all aware that we have to start taking care of our planet and doing whatever we can. This has been the puzzle we as a company are trying to solve, and different people are working on different parts. We're thinking on a multi-decade basis. So things that we can drive our business to do, how can that affect the generations to come? not letting the difficulties of the world prevent us from going after the things we dream about.